My name is uh, Eddie Casillas. I'm a certified athletic trainer, and this is uh, the Asterix Mobile Medical Unit. Uh, the vehicle travels to all of the Supercross and outdoor events, and I'm just going to go ahead and give you a little rundown about what we do here and how we help the riders. Uh, first of all, uh, like any ER room, uh, if you're an athlete, whether you're a motorcycle racer, uh, a staff member, a mechanic, anybody that has uh, a credential comes into our truck and you get seen by the nurse first and they decide kind of what uh, treatment to, uh, to give you, whether we need to have the doctor take a look at the athlete or have uh, myself, the certified athletic trainer, or even the nurse can uh, administer just regular uh, medications and stuff. And we come over to this area here, which is the triage area. And in here, when you walk in, we have the filing cabinets that have all of the riders or mechanics uh, information, uh, staff members information if they've been seen before. And you come in here and we have uh, uh, basic temperature, uh, blood pressure, all that kind of stuff that we get your basic information first. If you end up back in this section here, uh, you have uh, sometimes a pretty serious injury. Uh, we can treat anything from minor scrapes and bruises with band-aids and bandages and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Also, we can uh, do uh, evaluations on our x-ray machine, which is this here, and we can uh, decide with that, you know, if you have a fracture or not, and then we can treat it here. If you're a rider and you end up in this part of the truck, um, the truck is kind of divided into uh, it's the ER part of the truck, which is this uh, first half where we have our x-ray machine, and then this back section here is uh, more of the athletic training room, and that's where I come into play, and if a rider comes in and he has a uh, ankle injury, wrist injury, or anything that maybe we need to tape up, shoulders, things like that. We can have various types of tape that we use and uh, we can tape them up and get them ready. Uh, if you guys remember uh, Rhino from a few years back, he broke his leg and we were able to tape him up and he was able to continue racing and uh, salvage some points. That also, let's get in this drawer here. Uh, Asterix and uh, Innovation Sports. Uh, they provide us with uh, wrist braces, so if uh, you have a wrist injury, and we can uh, get you into a wrist brace, and if that helps you out to get through the day, then you know that's awesome for the rider. So very fortunate for uh, Innovation Sports to provide us with their wrist braces. All right, uh, we're here in the front of the truck, which is our lounge. Uh, one of the things that we talked about, uh, if we were ever to get a new uh, truck was to have a lounge similar to what the other race teams have. And it provides a couple different uh, things for us. One, it's a place for us to kind of relax in between the motos and have some lunch or just kind of hang out and get out of the heat. But it also, it's, a, it's an opportunity for uh, sponsors or potential sponsors to come in and sit down and make a presentation and talk about whatever it is that uh, maybe they want to try to help us out with. Sometimes we have um, medical companies that come in and want to donate some equipment so they can come in here and we can talk about it and figure out uh, the best way to, to help them out and they can help us out. During uh, the course of the year, uh, depending on the track, whether it's supercross track or a motocross track, uh, we'll see uh, different level or different or a variety of uh, injuries, whether some tracks are predominantly uh, rutted up, so we'll see a lot of ankle injuries, sometimes uh, some knees. Uh, during the Supercross season, sometimes the track builders will build a, a section where some riders will attempt to kind of gain an advantage by uh, doing a certain section that other riders couldn't do. So it opens the possibility for injury, and we might see you know some uh, broken arms or broken legs because of that, if, if that's uh, the case. Um, but on any given weekend, we'll see anywhere from as little as one or two riders to where we've seen 30 riders, which was a, a large amount for one day and it varies everything from sprained ankles to dislocated fingers to uh, maybe rotator cuff tears and a variety of injuries that we'll see and it just it's, again it's based on on the track conditions or the track design for that given weekend uh, i want to thank you guys uh, for taking this time and uh, touring our truck uh, asterix who's uh, the main sponsor of the rig has been very helpful in uh, providing us the opportunity to come to every race and support the riders in, in, in a medical standpoint.